Strong is the force in this one. Much success they will have. Much learning will take place this month. May the content be with you. Hey, it's Richard Butler here, Director of Education. And yes, May is here. Can you believe five months into 2021? And yes, there will be a reference to Star Wars, of course, because those of you who know May, well, may know that uh, <laughs> there is a special Star Wars holiday here. Now, speaking of courses, this month I'm going to show you how you can easily publish your own course. And of course, we have already done all the hard work for you. Keep watching to find out how easy it is to actually publish your own course. You're going to be amazed by this. Now, the most important thing that you must do first is, well, make sure that you click that subscribe button, click on that little bell icon so that you're notified when we actually upload a new video and make sure that, well, you like this video. And any items that I mentioned are in the description below. So make sure that you have a look down there and uh, check out what I'm talking about. If you're new here, well, welcome, because every single month we put together a marketing calendar and we have one for every month of the year with over 200 holidays and events paired with several marketing ideas that you can implement straight away into your business. But you know, here at PLR.me, we like to go that extra mile and it gets even better because not only do we actually give you ideas for the holidays, but we actually provide links for you to the done for you content so that you don't have to write from scratch. All you need to do is download the item, brand it as your own and publish it. So the link for the May content calendar is in the description below. And finally, remember all of our content is delivered in editable formats, not edible, <laughs> meaning you can download it, edit it, tweak it, change it, slice it, dice it, add to it and well, do anything that you wish and publish it under your own brand. Okay, now that all of that is out of the way, let's talk about this month's holidays and what we can actually do with those holidays. May 1st, Loyalty Day. May 4th, Star Wars Day. May 6th, National Day of Prayer. May 11th, Eat What You Want Day. May 20th, Be A Millionaire Day. May 31st, Memorial Day. Today, May 1st, is Loyalty Day, a day which is traditionally celebrated in America, recognizing the freedom of its citizens. However, we can talk about different elements of loyalty and freedom today. Well, what about customer loyalty, loyalty to your partner, embracing freedom, recognizing the need to let go and be free of whatever may be holding you back? As you can see, the day itself is a starting point to help you publish great, great content and can be used by any type of coach. Now, the resource I want to recommend is our fable, The Joy of Freedom. Now, you see, fables are a great way to make a point without lecturing your audience. You can tell them a story. And the beautiful thing about stories is that we let our guard down. Because when we listen to or read a story, we know it's just a good yarn and a way of escaping our reality. Think of many of the fables that you have heard as a child and the morals behind them. The tortoise and the hare, never give up. The lion and the mouse, no act of kindness is ever wasted. Now you see how these stories had morals and we mightn't have even known. And you thought they were just interesting little stories that you are read when you are going to bed. Well, you see, fables and stories always have a moral. You could easily take today's fable and then add some nice background music and record it and post on YouTube. And this is easily done with a program called Audacity. Now, don't panic because recording the audio is not that difficult. As we have a video about that too, you should see a link up here and there is also a link in the description, of course. So these types of resources are ideal for parenting coaches or coaches working with children. However, remember that in business, we could use stories as well, but we call them case studies. So if you're a business coach or even a fitness coach, you could think a little bit outside the box and say, well, how can I use a story to help my clients? Today can also be linked to Memorial Day, which falls at the end of the month. And let's see how I make that connection. Today, May 4th is Star Wars Day, a day to live long and prosper. <laughs> 
I love to make those little jokes with my Harry Potter friends. I know, I know, I'm only messing with you. I know that that is Star Trek, but I like to make those jokes. So don't, don't start flaming me in the comments saying, that's awful, okay? Let's ask ourselves, like, how can Star Wars be used in your business as, well, like it's Star Wars? Well, let's think about it. Star Wars is the typical hero's journey tale. It's a tale about a simple ordinary person who is called to step beyond their comfort zone to fight an unknown threat. They succeed and then their life is changed forever. And then they have to see whether they will go back to their normal life or they will continue fighting on. Now, when we watch Star Wars, we hear about the Force and the Force is strong in the Jedis. And I believe that we all have a Force within us that can help us overcome any challenge if we know how to identify this Force and use it. And this force, well, it might be called the universe, God, willpower, etc. The name that is given will be important for your tribe and your clients and how they use this force will be even more important. The following article, Four Steps to Greatness, could be used as a podcast, a video, or as a lead magnet, or all three of those things. Remember, it can be fully customized so that you can rename it to Four Steps to Be a Great Dad for a parenting coach. Four steps to greatness in your relationship, a relationship coach. Four steps to greatness in the gym, a fitness coach. So with a bit of tweaking, there's so much you can do with this. The key today is to show people how they can become a better version of themselves by focusing on the force that they have within themselves and around them. Because, you know, a lot of times people focus on that negative energy that they have and they go nowhere. A lot of the times people focus on the positive energy and they do great things. So talk about those particular items. Now, May 6th is National Day of Prayer. And obviously, if you're a Christian coach, you could tie in our last holiday with today and expand on the idea of using the force, God's help and will, to help you and yours. Today, you can emphasize the need to either be in the habit of, continue the habit of, or start the habit of prayer. After all, every day should be a day of prayer, right? An ideal resource to share today is the prayer book. Again, fully customizable that you can use and brand as your own. So take this resource and use it as the basis of a webinar or series of webinars, helping your clients reconnect or perhaps connect for the first time with the power of prayer. My thoughts here would be to create a series of prayer days and offer this as a paid webinar live and then record each webinar and use it as an automated product. That is, put it into your sales funnel and allow people to view the replays. So remember that any live event that you do or any webinars that you do should always be recorded because then you can sell the recordings as an evergreen product. So what happens if you are not a Christian coach? Well, you can always talk to your tribe about the need to believe in something and a higher force. Remember, there is always a way to ensure you connect the holidays with your particular audience and your niche. May 11th is Eat What You Want Day. Have you ever felt really sleepy and bloated after a meal? Well, maybe, just maybe, that is your body saying, hold on buddy, you're not feeding me right. And you know, I mean, do you put diesel into a petrol engine? Of course not, but how can we sometimes do it with our bodies? Well, today you could use the holiday as a starting point for a range of ideas. So talk about comfort eating, especially in these difficult times, people are doing that. As a nutrition coach, as a diet coach, as a fitness coach, you can talk about this, but I think this affects many clients in many different niches. Discuss the fuel you need to build a great body, ideal for a fitness coach. How does the food your kids eat affect their mood? Perfect for a parenting coach. What about uh, sensual tasting foods if you're a relationship coach? Well, no matter which one of the above ideas you choose, this resource could be ideal to give away today. And it's called Foods to Avoid. Now, of course, brand this, give it away, encourage people to share it with their friends. But do remember that sometimes you need a treat, but as long as you know when to stop. No, no, hold on, where did my chocolate go? I'm only joking. May 20th is Be A Millionaire Day. Believe it or not, most people might not want to be a millionaire 
but they may want a little bit more money. A report that I recently read said that the optimum amount of money where people are at their happiest is $70,000. Now, I believe that was per year rather than per month, but who knows? But apparently after 70K, people start to have more problems and more issues. The first step in getting more of anything is prepping your brain for success. So how about building a course all about success? Hey, that sounds like hard work, I know. Well, it would be, but you know, we've done the hard work for you and we actually have a course called the Success Brain Course. Now we provide you with all the modules and all the lessons and even extra resources that you need. What I would suggest is that you record this course as a video with your face showing on camera like we're doing here, just check out either this link or the link in the description. May 31st is Memorial Day, a day where we should be thankful for those who have done so much for our country. And for you as citizens, this of course is a day to remember the sacrifices made by others for their country. You can easily link this holiday back to Loyalty Day and talk about how we can be grateful for freedom, and those who fought for it. And it doesn't matter if you're in the US or outside of the US, you can still celebrate this day. Executive coaches can talk to their tribe about how they need to remember to be thankful and grateful for their staff who work hard for them. Relationship coaches can talk about how we should be grateful for our partners and our relationships in life because perhaps we take them for granted. So why not say thank you for being a great partner to your partner today? Parenting coaches can talk to their audience about showing their children how important it is to be grateful and to do things for others. They could also talk about respect for veterans, etc. A fitness coach or a health coach can talk to their tribe and let them know that no matter where they are in their fitness regime, they should be grateful for where they are and how far they have come. No matter who you coach, talk to people about this resource. When I help others, I gain so much more in return. Sometimes we don't think about doing things for others and how great that feels. So for this resource, I would think about doing a Facebook Live and after that, think about putting together a webinar about how to be more grateful and how you can help others. Or well, what about a gratefulness challenge? Well, we actually have one of those. There's a link in the description. I mean, it's a win-win. You help others and seeing people change or grow makes you feel good too. Well guys, it's nearly the end of another video. But remember each month, I show you a selection of holidays. But there's plenty more holidays during the month that you can actually use and we link to that content. And of course, for each holiday, there's plenty more resources that you can find on our content calendar. So make sure that you review it fully. Second important thing to do is to take action and to make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video and leave a comment if you enjoyed my costume changes. And yes, I do have to talk to the props department because you know, I need a little bit of a budget for some of these videos, right? Um, just give me a thumbs up to say, yes, Richard needs a budget, okay? And finally, I have kept the most important thing to last. If you're not already a member of PLR.me, maybe it's time to sign up. You have absolutely no excuse as we are giving you two free credits when you sign up for a free account, no credit card, no hidden uh, ifs, buts, or small print, and no strings attached. In fact, every month we will give you two free credits just as a way of saying, thanks for trying us out. Just go to plr.me and sign up. Thanks guys for watching this video, and here are two more videos that I think you may like. Also make sure that you check all of the links in the description, and I'll talk to you in the next video.